Peace and welcome to Oddly Familiar. Today we have another Dragon Ball episode. In our previous Dragon Ball episode we covered only games from the Budokai series, but in today's episode we will sprinkle in a little bit more. So with no further delay, here is 10 Oddly Familiar Dragon Ball Themes Part 2. In at number 10, we have Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22, Zarbin's Theme. And here is Yu Yu Hakusho, Eye to Eye. Our first up today has a similar piano riff to start out both of the tracks. The tempo is a little bit different, but not by much. After the initial intro, the tracks do go off in their own directions, with the main difference being the Yu Yu Hakusho song has lyrics, while the Dragon Ball track is just an instrumental. Yu Yu Hakusho aired in Japan from October 10, 1992 until December 17, 1994, while Dragon Ball Z UB22 came out on July 28, 1995. I do believe this one comes from a sample library, as they are that similar. One is just chopped up a little bit more than the other. Number 9 comes from Super Butoden 2, Piccolo's Theme. And that one is kinda obvious, the James Bond theme. Shout out to Alex for submitting this one, and now I do have to say, the James Bond theme song is one of the most well-known themes there is. You can't just take a piece of it and expect people not to notice. Just don't call it the 007 theme, or Bond himself may have to correct you. And he is right. I looked it up and the 007 theme is completely different than the James Bond theme. I had no idea they were different, but they are. Just a quick fun fact for you. is from Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2, Defiance. And here is Disturb, Just Stop. A viewer submission, so here's a quick shout out. This is the first Raging Blast entry so far, and I dare say if Kenji didn't have so many blatant ripoffs, this one would probably be overlooked. But when you have done the same thing for years and years, people will start to dissect almost everything you do. A quick example might be an athlete. Let's say you have a player that is known for being a bit dirty or pushing the limits. The referees will watch him or her a lot closer, and they will end up getting more penalties because of it. And keep in mind, this is not the only Disturbed song that Kenji has made a track similar to. Lucky number 7 comes from Dragon Ball Z Budokai Part 3. Hurricane Challenger. And 
here is Do It For The Kids by Velvet Revolver. Another viewer submission, thanks to Mad Dash for this one. The similarities would be in the rhythm guitar, and it may not be exact, but that won't stop us from talking about it. It's similar enough to be compared, but probably not going to get anyone sued. Do It For The Kids was released on June 8th of 2004 and Budokai 3 a few months later on November 16th of 2004. Plenty enough time to hear it and put it in the game. Number six is from Super Butoden 2, the opening theme. Let's compare that to the Beatles, Eleanor Rigby. One of the more popular similarities, we have had quite a few comments suggesting this one. And it is in there. The 16-bit quality may disguise it a little bit, but if you slow the NES one down just a little bit, you may start to hear it even more. Here's a quick sample of it slowed down with some of the Beatles song mixed in. Five is titled Move Forward Fearlessly from Dragon Ball Z Budokai Part 1. And here is Stradivarius, Glory of the World. I think this entry pretty much sums up the entire fiasco. Changing a note or two, or changing by an octave or two, isn't always enough to avoid calling it plagiarism. This may not be 100% exactly the same, but that's not what plagiarism means. And that's a subject for another video. So let's get back to our oddly 10. Kenji has obviously heard of Stradivarius, as he has many theme songs that just happen to sound almost exactly like some of the band's songs. Unlucky number four is from Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, a track titled Hatred at the Two Power. And now, Bullet for My Valentine, just another star. Another viewer submission, thanks to Kay Stark. This is our first entry from Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, and combined with the other Super Nintendo tracks we have heard, these melodies are starting to come from all sorts of different sources. This game was released in 2008, four years after Budokai 3, and 15 years after Butoden 2. Just proving Kenji borrowed melodies for almost 20 years before being fired in 2011. Number three spot comes from Budokai 2 versus Super Boo. And now Rush, Spirit of the Radio. Quite a popular song. 
This is the music that I grew up with because my mom listens to some songs by Rush. A Canadian trio with one of the best drummers you will ever hear. If you are a drummer or just like to hear skilled drummers, check out some Neil Peart. You will not be disappointed. The Dragon Ball theme can also be found on Budokai Part 3 under the title The Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Our number two entry is from Dragon Ball Xenoverse Beta. And here is Metallica, No Leaf Clover. Now this is the newest one on our list and it comes from 2015 and it's not even Kenji Yamamoto. Submitted by Alpha Proto and TDark987. The difference in this track and all of the others arranged by Kenji is the fact this melody was removed before the game made its retail debut. It only appears in the beta. Maybe it was just a bit too similar and people might pay a little bit closer attention to their music knowing they had issues before. It was best to remove it and not have to face any questions even if it wasn't done on purpose. Number one is from Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 3, Powerful Man from the Darkness. Now let's compare that to X-Men Legends, Sentinel Lab, Action. This is another one that is similar enough to where I would call it a sample. It may come from a royalty-free sample library, unless Kenji was blatant enough to go from replaying samples to just ripping it from the source and using it. This one has no difference in tempo, no difference in notes, and it's pretty much the exact same. Here is a quick mashup of the two. As you can hear, that is the same. And if anyone can tell me where it came from, please comment and let me know. You will get a shout out in a future episode. So I just want to close this video out by saying some of these could be overlooked if he didn't do it for 20 years straight. I'm sorry, but when you develop a reputation, people will look even harder for it. It didn't happen out of nowhere, and there's a reason why that's your rep. So anyways, I am currently putting together the next Dragon Ball episode. Kenji has that many. And quick shout out to Gold Level Patron, Bearsona11. Until the next episode, I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace.